Hello Miners and welcome back. Today we are playing some dodgeball. That is right. We got Patches O'Houlihan and the rest of the Average Joes here today playing some uh, Patchwork Stompy and Legacy. There's really not a whole lot to say about this deck. It's a pretty stock list. Uh, at this point the list is pretty well tuned. The only real addition recently has been Giraffe the Flesh Rite, which uh, gives the deck an ability to go wide in addition to being able to go tall with Cop Economy and Patchwork Automaton. So in a deck where you're basically slaying a bunch of zero drops every turn anyways, and then refueling your hand with a Thought Cast effect and replaying zero drops from the graveyard with Emery, Giraffe kind of fits right in. And like I said, it gives the deck another angle to be able to go wide when you need it to get around a bunch of blockers that you just can't punch through with your big creatures. So... Let's take this into a league, see how Patchwork Stompy feels uh, right before Modern Horizons 3 drops and before the meta shifts up. And uh, I will catch you all in the wrap-up. I want to thank my newest patron over on uh, Patreon, OSB. Thank you for joining me in the Salt Mines and supporting the channel. If you would like to support the channel as well, go ahead and stop by the Patreon at the link down in the description below. If you want to support the channel for free, go ahead and hit that like and that sub button or drop a comment. Now, on to the gameplay. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. That's right. Today we are playing some Patches O'Houlihan, Patchwork Stompy, and this is a great hand, uh, especially being on the play. The only unfortunate part about this is the fact that I'm going to have to run out all my zero drops before I can actually play Patches, or I need to wait a turn to play Patches, which might actually be the better idea here. Yeah, I think we're going to actually play it kind of slow here. Let's go ahead and uh, play Patches on turn two. This way we also have Construct starting on turn three and just hope our opponent's not on some kind of combo deck. Or doesn't just strip our hand here with some Grief Scam stuff. Their avatar being Grief concerns me. Wait, is this Mantle a Stretch? Oh, it might be a Reanimator to... Okay, so this could be a reanimator. They wanted to get a natural discard, so I'm really hoping I hit a force off of one of these bobbles. Because if they get to reanimate this, we are in some trouble, unfortunately. But I mean, we're just doing our thing. Like, there's no point in not doing it. Always yield to this. And then, unfortunately, we are going to instantly turn off um, Metalcraft, but we have the Ancient Tomb. And we do unfortunately need to do this on their turn so that we can... Ugh, they have a grief. Okay, we, we probably lost this then. Oh, and a thought seize. They have all the discard in the world. So if they have a reanimation spell, they just got it. Saga. Okay, so we just drew a bunch of land. So we weren't actually drawing anything relevant anyways. Um, I mean, we do have an Aether Spell Bomb. But yeah, you can take my Kappa Cannon here. That's fine. Um... So there actually is a world where we can bounce Atraxa and live. But we'll see, because they'll get this Atraxa down. So they're going to get to refuel off of it, yep. All right, so Grief is gone. They don't have a ton that's relevant to what we're trying to do in this pile here. They do have Entomb and Exhum, so they could go grab something else if we don't draw something important here. But we'll see. So I think it's these four. Yes. Okay. So they are going to be able to get something else back. So we'll see how crazy this gets. If they get an Archon, we always could bounce that and sacrifice a token. I don't know. We'll see. This This is going to be close. Like, we have outs, which is why I haven't scooped yet. And they chose not to blow their Petal Fern and Tomb that turn. That's weird. Unless they felt like just doing it all on their turn. All right, there's the Swamp. We'll take our seven. They'll go back up to 20. Because, like, they could easily go and tomb a Crystal Brand and draw, like, half of their deck now. I'm not super sure why they haven't yet. All right, there's the Entomb. What are they dropping? All right, so they did go for the Archon, so I'm guessing that means they're exhuming it. All right, well, we're going to make a dude. This is honestly probably the best that could have happened here. Oh, and we get a Kappa Cannon here. I totally forgot about that. Oh, I completely forgot we were getting a card back. Okay, um, we are actually kind of in this. Um, in this case, I think we're actually going to sack the Patchwork. Um, 
and then discard the Ancient Tomb, we're actually still very much in this. Um, that was not at all what I was expecting. Okay, they have another Exhum. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. We can make a dude. Alright, made a dude. Um, let's grab Spellbomb. Kappa's unblockable now. We can very easily blow up... Or not blow up, bounce the Atraxa. Yeah, so what do I want to go from here? Let's... I kind of want to run my hand out just because I know that they have discard still. So let's bounce a tracks it back to get it out of the way. And now all of my creatures are bigger than their Archon. So they can't profitably block my Construct. They could always exhume again, but I'll just sack another Construct. Or they just take it. This is only nine. So I'm not dead, unless they have a Bowmaster. I'm very confused what they might have going on here. Alright, they're drawing a land. They can exhume again to get a Grief, but my hand is empty. And then Kappa's unblockable next turn. Because this is only 9 damage. Yeah, so I think we got this. Um, like I said, unless they have a main deck Bowmaster or something to be able to get back here. Um, we'll just sack one of the Constructs, that's fine. Now I got a one. I mean, we'll see. They seem to be mono black, so Bowmaster is something that they could have. Plays of the Swamp that we knew about. They have no creatures to block with. They could. And I mean, this is going to become a 10 10. There's nothing they can do to stop that because I'm going to be able to make a construct with Urza Saga. And it's going to be unblockable. All right, they're thought seizing themselves to get a Traxa again. But again, Kappa is unblockable. Okay, yeah, that's that's totally fine. Unless you have a way to get rid of this Kappa, you're dead. And I got Patchy's back. Like, I don't know what they can do with zero mana here to get back in this. Yeah, I don't think any of that matters. Like, even if they got Petal, Ritual, and Tomb, Reanimates are off. Yeah, I think they're just dead. I really don't know any line they could have that gets them out of this. Unless, like I said, if they have... Bowmaster. I guess they could like pedal ritual and tomb reanimate a bowmaster and get there. But that's if they have bowmaster main deck. Like being mono black, I'm guessing they do, but I don't know for sure. So, all right, and they scooped it up. They saw that they were dead. All right, cool. Um, I'm glad that I remembered that I had Aether Spellbomb main. Otherwise, I would have scooped that one up. And I mean, taking game one against reanimator feels great. Um, now, with that being said, Macabs, Force of Negations, Soul Guide Lantern. Bring that pile in. Um, on the draw, I don't think Chalice of the Void is going to be very good. Alright, take out the Chalices. Um, let's trim A. Emery. I think we can probably trim Shadow Spear here. And let's trim one Mox Opal. Let's try something like that. So this is a lot of defense and a redraw. Well, I guess this is one defensive spell and a redraw. Is this good enough, is the question. I think we're going to keep it in trust here, because this allows us to basically play anything we want when we draw it. Our opponent also apparently is mulliganing pretty hard, so them to have the resources to be able to get through a force in addition to pull off their game plan is going to be a lot harder. We also are in a position where if they were planning on trying to reanimate out of our graveyard, we have no creatures for them to be able to take. Because that is something that reanimator will occasionally pivot onto, is trying to strip your opponent's hand when you anticipate graveyard hate. And they kind of pivot off of their own graveyard plan a bit. Being mono black, they could also just go into like a mono black aggro style. I mean, we saw the void walkers. They could do like void walkers, exsanguinator, cavalries, uh, bowmaster, stuff like that. All right, opponent went to five. Okay, they're just playing a land and pass, and that gives us a shot here. So another zero mana mana source, like a Mox Opal, means we can leave up hard cast. Okay. Uh, we don't have hard cast seat, but we do have spell bomb available if we need it. All right, so we're going to bobble them in the upkeep, see what they're drawing. 
this is probably the part that we force honestly because of the fact that typically they have fewer ways to get things into the graveyard than they do to get them out so i think we're gonna go ahead and force this as like i said they have fewer ways to get things into the graveyard than they do to get them out okay but a dark ritual could allow them to do it all in one turn so we'll see all right does not seem to be that way yet all right give me something good deck Okay, Thoughtcast isn't bad. Thoughtcast, wow, that is a lot of uh, those. All right, so one, two, three. I still got to tap this, unfortunately. See what we can draw off this Thoughtcast. We have an Emery. I don't hate that. All right, so we've got an engine, but we are shields down, sort of. Like, we can bounce something back to their hand. We also do have a card draw engine going on. Hopefully their hand is just like a bunch of mana and nothing to do with it. All right, so it seems like they just got a bunch of mana. The only problem is, is if they're mono black, they could just, like, get to a point where they can hard cast their Archons and shit like that. Okay, can I cast Kappa? Yes. So I've got to do this like this, unfortunately, to be able to hold up uh, Aether Spellbomb Bounce if I need it. All right, so how much more do I need off of this? I need one. Uh, so that means I need to... I can tap Spellbomb to do this. And that still allows me to be able to bobble, which I wouldn't be able to cast anything anyways. So we're going to upkeep bobble them. I was thinking like maybe I need to do it in case I draw a Metallic Rebuke. Okay, Unmask is fine. Uh, they're not discarding anything relevant. I was thinking if I drew into a Metallic Rebuke, but I don't have enough untapped artifacts to be able to do that anyways. And then as long as it's... All right, they scooped it up. Um, I was about to say, as long as Emery sticks around, we can grow Kappa and make it unblockable every single turn. So we're getting in there, but yeah. All right, Blastoise taking down uh, Reanimator. I like it. On to the next one. All right, round two. Lost the die roll. Um, so, like, the funny part is, is we theoretically could get out a turn one Emery. And we have Force of Will, but we have no mana after that. I actually don't hate it because we actually could get out Emery the next turn, get our Lotus Petal back, so we're at least guaranteed one mana. Against my better judgment, I'm going to keep this. The fact that we had the Force of Will and a redundant Emery to pitch to it is why I'm keeping this. Like, if it wasn't for that, I don't think I'd keep this hand because this is very sketchy. Oh, so it looks like it's going to be the uh, Mirror Match. Let's see how crazy their hand is compared to ours. Uh, we are 100% forcing your Emery. All right, so now that we know what our opponent's on, if I draw a land, I'm honestly super tempted to just say screw it. Oh, um, does this change anything? Ugh. I could get down Giralf, and that's pretty sweet. Well, we're going to get down Emery first, and then we can Giralf next turn. There's a part of me that wants to Chalice on zero, but it shuts us off from doing anything if I do is the problem. All right, we got our Chalice down. Um, nothing super good here, but I think we're going to go ahead and bobble them, because we're just going to be able to get the bobble back next turn. And they're drawing an island, so hopefully they don't have anything particularly relevant here. And hopefully we draw something good. Okay, Patchwork Stompy, or Patchwork ain't bad. Patch is a Hulan. Ugh, they have an Urza Saga, that sucks. So we're going to have to try to see if we can get around this Saga... All right, they're seeing what we're drawing here. I, I just kind of want to land, to be completely honest. All right, let's see here. Another patchy. So let's see here. We got to take back our bobble. Cast it, unfortunately. Um, We're just going to have to try to do this whole thing and hope that we can outdo their constructs. They lost... Oh, shit. They had got an ancient. I was going to say, they lost their... Uh, whatchamacallit? Metalcraft, but they're drawing an ancient tomb. Um, okay, I have a Urza Saga of my own now. Like, there's just such weird things going on here. Depending on what they do, I might go ahead and just cast this Chalice on zero. Like, it feels really bad, but it might just be what I need to do here to stop them from getting even more shit onto the battlefield. Alright, we're doing that. Um... 
Cast Bobble. Grow Patches. I actually totally fucked this up. I just realized that. Shit. I needed the Lotus Petal, not the Bobble. Or, no, 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 no. This will still work. Um, I am just severely going down mana in the process. And hoping that keeping artifacts off their board will allow me to do things. Alright, that worked. I mean, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do this. Um, we're going to see if we can go wider than their constructs and keep the board clear. Because, like, they can make two constructs and go get, like, a Shadow Spear. But our hope is that we can keep the board clear here. And I can also... I can still always cast spells out of my graveyard. They're just not going to stick around. So I still have the ability to grow Patchwork and trigger Giralf. So, like, that is something I can still do. All right, they're making their Construct. They got Metalcraft back again. They're going to be 5-5s, five potentially a 5-5 five five and a 6-5 if they end up going for Lava Spur Boots. All right, another Patchwork. Like, I would love to get another permanent Mana Source here that can stick around. They might go grab Pithing Needle and name Emery, depending on what they have here. No, Shadow Spear, okay. That's mostly fine. I'm pretty sure we can race this. Is this a Kappa Cannon here? Ooh, they have Blastoise. That's not good. Yeah, that... Mm, that Blastoise is rough for us. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through that. Into a Bobble. Yeah, their shit's just too big, unfortunately. Like... Them having that Blastoise was huge. If it was just the Constructs, I think we would have had a shot. But the fact that it was Blastoise, yeah, that's unfortunate. All right. Um, let's see. What can we bring in here? Uh, probably bring in all of these. Bring in Dismember. Probably take out the Chalices. Take out Spellbomb. Let's take out one Bobble. Bring these five in. Try something like that and see how it goes. I really... I've never played the mirror matchup, to be completely honest, so I have no idea how this goes. So let's try that. All right, Deck. Give me a good one. I know that last one was kind of risky to keep, but... All right. Um, Yeah, we'll keep this. All right. Opponent kept on seven as well. See if they can... Okay. They didn't force that, which is good. All right. We got a bobble in the yard. I think I'm willing to do this just in case we end up getting... All right, that's a patchwork. That might be problematic. Let's see what else they got going on over there. And a spell bomb. Okay. I'm doing this just in case I draw a force. Um, it makes thought cast cost more, but we've also got the soul land. Okay, we got the force and a mox opal. Okay, so we can force whatever their first thing is. Uh, we don't want to risk patchies coming down. See if they kept their forces in. No? Okay. Because I'm not about to play that game of trying to stop Patches of Hulahan right now. <laughs> Alright, yeah, because they were going to be able to make it big. Unfortunately, they have their own Emery, which can get Patches back. But we sort of kind of have an answer to that. Um, it's going to shut down our Emery, unfortunately, but... Hopefully we can just shut them off from doing anything relevant here. Uh, I don't like the fact that I keep getting all of this stuff. Um, I'm just running shit out. Uh, we're gonna grab a bobble back. Play bobble. Alright, um, this looks really weird, but we are going to play out Pithing Needle and name Emery so they can't use theirs. Like, it feels really bad shutting off our own. But we already got our value out of ours. And they're drawing a Mox Opal. Okay. So we got the first Emery activation. Even though they're shut down, they're now just going to stare at each other. But now they can't get Patches of Hulahan back. So we'll see. Okay, Haywire might I don't hate. Oh my god, they just had one anyways. Ugh. Alright, unfortunately Haywire might can't hit Patches. So I've got to find something to outgrow their Patchwork. I can gain some life and get some persistent mana, or get them off of persistent mana, but uh, that's not good. Alright, we're just going to play with Haywire Might. 
If we need to, we can always block, blow up something and hope that we can draw out of this. Like, a Kappa Cannoneer would be great. All right, this is only got one card in hand. Who knows what it is? I'm not super sure why they're getting in here. Um, I'll let the Emery's bounce off of each other. At this point, I'll take my four. I'd rather use Haywire Might on, like, a Shadow Spear or something. And I can start gaining some life back if I want to get in. An Ancient Tomb, that's not what I want here. I mean, it sucks that we're getting the damage in, but this is going to kind of keep them from attacking with Emery. We need, like, we need a Thought Cast effect to really get back into this. All right, our opponent just continually drawing lands is about the best thing we can ask for here. It just makes me wonder what that last card in hand is. If it's a... No, it's a Pithing Needle. Okay. Um, are they just going to name Haywire Might? I find... Maybe they name Shadow Spear. If they name Haywire Might, that's okay, I guess. I'll just fucking block and get it out of the way now. Yeah, they just Haywire Might. I guess that's fine. Like I said, we're in a spot where we kind of just want... Um, whatchamacallit. Uh, we will block now that Haywire Might can't do anything. This was worth the life to not pop it in response. Like I said, we need, like, a cast effect to get back in this game here. I mean, that's a Patches. That might do something. But I need to start drawing shit fast to be able to actually do anything with it. All right, I am going to go ahead and get in here with Emery just to start trying to gain some life back. It's a free attack. Like, it's a net uh It stems the bleeding a little bit. Like, I think it's worth getting in now because I'm certainly not blocking with it. I'll go down to 10, go back up to 12. Like, we're just hoping they continue to not draw shit. But we'll see. Like I said, we're, we're both very much in, like, a good top deck just turns this game on its head. Yep, go ahead, get in. They do also have enough mana to be able to activate Aether Spellbomb and get around Patchy's Ward. Alright, that's a bobble. That makes Patches a little bit bigger. See what they're see what they got. Okay, it's just a land. That's fine. I am going to hold Patches back here to be able to block this Emery. Try to stem the bleeding. They could always just go ahead and bounce the patchwork back to my hand if they want to, but it's gonna pretty much tap them out. Okay, Giralf is good if I can start amassing spells. Oh, God. Urza Saga is not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that might have done it, unfortunately. I would need some insane draws. Like, I would need, like, a thought. Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. All right. This is going to be painful. All right. If I can go wide enough, I might be able to get back in this. What do I draw? Oh my god, two lands? <laughs> oh my god, that was... That was about as bad as it could possibly be. <sighs> Alright, get in. Um, yeah, this is slipping away real quick. I think we got one more draw step, realistically, to figure a way out of this. Because here comes some very big constructs, and then they're going to be able to get a Shadow Spear... Um, yeah, I need some crazy, like, thing and a thing and a thing and a thing. We know one of their lands are going to be able to make a blocker. I think we need to be able to just stay going as wide as possible. But if we don't block this, it does take us off of being able to activate one of our Ancient Tombs if we need to. Yeah, I... It needs to be some ungodly series of events here to get us back in this, because that construct's going to be huge, and then it's going to get a Shadow Spear, which is going to be able to trample over our shit. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, that that's just game. I'll, I'll make sure that they still got their Shadow Spear in the deck, because if it doesn't have Trample, then there's a Shot, uh, and a Metallic Rebuke. Oh, God. Like, there's no point in swinging in here. It's just going to kill us. Because they can make their Constant in response. It'll eat the Emery. Yeah. I just want to see if they actually kept Shadow Spear in. If they kept Shadow Spear in, we're dead. If they didn't, then we might be able to jump block our way out of this. They're just making their dude now. That's fine. Wow. We flooded out hard this game. All right. Show me the Shadow Spear. Yep. There's the Shadow Spear. Okay. They got it. Good game opponent. Yeah. that This mirror match feels absolutely fucking miserable. I'm not going to lie. 
Glad I got that over with. Let's hope that's the only one during this league. Anyways, on to the next one. All right, on to round three. This is a turn one Emery into a turn two Patchy. I think we'll keep this. All right, opponent could be on Delver bullshit. We will see. Skeleton turn always screams Delver to me. Ponder could be anything. All right, chose not to shuffle. So I guess we'll see how crazy this ends up getting. There's a very real possibility that a turn one Emery gets countered here. There's also a possibility of trying to set up to be able to Urza Saga, but I think we're going to start off with a turn one Emery. Go with our original plan. All right, Emery resolved. Uh, milled some bobbles. Let's see what they're going to be drawing here. Force of Will. Okay. So there's a good chance that our first patchwork gets countered. Mox Opal, okay. Oh, are they on Sneak and Show? Intuition, okay. This looks like Sneak and Show. Okay, so... What? Demigod of Revenge? When you cast a spell, return all cards in Demigod of Revenge from your graveyard to the battlefield. Well, that's interesting. But they have to cast it. Do they have... Huh. It's got flying in haste. That is... That's actually pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's go ahead and play an Urza Saga. That's going to be our way out of this, assuming they don't have a ritual of some sort. This is some spicy shit right here. I am not going to lie. All right, grow the patches. Grab a Mishra's Bobble. Cast the bobble. Grow patches a little more. I'm assuming they have some kind of ritual to be able to get this demigod of revenge out. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and just play the spell bomb. Because I'm not going to be able to do anything with it later anyways. Ain't that some shit. Like, I haven't seen demigod of revenge in a while. That's, that's pretty insane. Alright. So the problem is, is it's a cast trigger. So even if I counter it, the other two are coming back. But if I counter one, bounce another one. The only downside is, is I don't have... Okay, that, that's not going to do anything here. So I guess we're going to see if they have a ritual of some sort. Because this is all colored mana here. So it's got to be like a seething song. That is seething song. Okay. Um, I will give our opponent credit. This is some fucking spice. I am not going to lie. This is some goddamn spice. Okay. Um, so I can deal with one of these. I can deal with two of these. Ancient Tomb doesn't do it. I think I needed a way to gain life there. Because, like, I could bounce one of them. Bounce another one with Odawara. But there's still one in the air. Yeah. Well, our opponent janked us the hell out. I will admit that. that that's cool. That I like seeing the spice. <laughs> All right. Um, sideboard wise, I guess we bring in graveyard hate. So let's bring in hydro blast, fairy macabre's soul guide lantern. I don't. Seeing as they're trying to do big stuff, I think we can probably take chalices out. Also, going to shut down our cantrips. So probably take out one of those. Let's trim A Emery and A Lava Spur Boots. Let's try something like that. All right, I can definitely say I was not anticipating what our opponent was doing there at all. Um, yeah, let's keep this. It's a little slower than I would like it to be, but it's got a shitload of redraws. Okay, I do not hate this. We're still going to be able to Thought Cast next turn regardless. Hopefully we draw something good off of this Bobble. Another bobble. So we might actually be able to thought cast twice next turn. Alright, there's the ponder. Chooses not to shuffle. Okay. Alright, into a mox opal. Okay. So, hmm. I could get Giralf down. But... You know what? I think I'm going to. Let's get Giralf down. See if our opponent respects this or not. They There is a world where they can cast one next turn. Um, but let's just start trying to go wide. Next turn, we're going to try to just chain Thought Cast together and make a shitload of zombies. Okay, Brazen Borrower. They can bounce the Giralf if they want to. A land lets us keep doing what we wanted to do anyways. All right. 
Okay, I like Patchwork as well. That That is a good card. All right, so they are just doing that at the moment. Okay. Let's see what we draw. Okay, I don't hate that at all. Let's get Patches down to start. And then we're just going to chain Thought Cast together. All right, so we're going to get at least one token off a of draw. Let's see if they decide to bounce it after this. All right, I like Urza Saga as a backup plan, but I still want a way to be able to deal with their combo. Ooh, okay, I like Hydro Blast. I actually like that a lot. We will hold off on casting this Mox Opal for now, because we can use that to try to trigger Giralf again next turn. This is quite the uh, clock we got going on here. All right, so I think opponent's going to try to get the Demigods in the graveyard now. All right, they like whatever they saw on top. Okay, just cantrips is fine. There's something to be said about maybe I should have kept the chalices in to be able to fight their cantrips, but I didn't think it was really worth it. I'd rather try to fight their payoffs. Okay, EE on zero, that's fine. That'll get rid of some things, but I can rebuild super fast, so I'm not super duper worried about that. Odawara is interesting too. Well, let's get in. Oh, I should have equipped the uh, Shadow Spear, oh well. We're going to get in with everything. Try to get them to pop it now. Yep, that's fine. Get rid of a few of those. We're actually super fine with that. Play a Saga. Play a Mox Opal. And then we pass the turn. We have both Bounce and Hydro Blast up. So we have a decent amount of protection. Because like, if they try to just, like, Ritual, we can always just Hydro Blast the Ritual itself. We do need to watch out for this Brazen Borrower. Brotherhood End. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to cast that. Hopefully they don't have a force effect. They do not. Okay, cool. I like that a lot. Another thought cast effect? Another Giralf. That doesn't really do anything for us here. Um, seeing as they have Brotherhood Ends, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just not particularly do anything here. Um, I'm holding up Bounce... Unfortunately, another Brotherhood End is kind of bad, but not the end of the world, because they have to do it before we make our Urza Saga tokens, but it will be a 1-1. Do you just have another one? Ooh, Seething Song. Okay, I guess we'll see what they want to put out here. Because if it's just a Demigod, we can bounce it into another Seething Song. What are they doing? Prismari Command. Target player draws two cards, then discards two cards and makes a treasure token? Do they have a bunch of demigods in hand and this is how they're going to do it? Yes, no, maybe? I think they scooped it up. Okay, yeah, they scooped it up. All right, this is... This is really bizarre. I'm not going to lie. I'm still not even super sure what I want to do here. Uh, I think I'm going to bring in the Force of Negations, but I really don't know what else to take out at this point. Like... I guess maybe take out the Shadow Spear? Like, I'm very, very confused what our opponent's doing here. Maybe we just do two forces, and let's trim a Blastoise? Well, no, Blastoise is probably pretty good. Let's let's trim a Giralf. Try something like that, I guess. All right, I mean, this is a pretty good hand. I think we're going to go ahead and keep this. I can get a Patches or a Giralf down on turn one, depending on what I draw here. It just depends on if I want to blow my Lotus Petal or not. And Hydro Blast. Ugh. So many things I can do here. Um, so let's see. If I do... Alright. See if there's a way that I can hold up this Hydro Blast. Cast. Cast this. Let's... Get down a Patches. Assuming they don't counter this. All right. This grows the patches and turns Metalcraft back on to allow us to hold up the Hydro Blast. And this works us toward getting our Soul Guide Lantern to be able to kill their graveyard. All right, they like whatever they saw on top. There's also a world where I'm like debating if I need to pop this to draw a card. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have Blue up next turn regardless. So, okay. So they have Pyro Blast. All right, let's see what we can draw. We have so many zero drop artifacts. Ooh, Kappa Cannoneer. And a Thought Cast. Uh, so let's see. If I Thought Cast, it takes all of my mana. 
I actually can't even thought cast. I don't have enough mana. All right. Well, we're just going to get in. I still have Hydroblast up, but I also now know that they have Pyroblast I need to watch out for. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make any constructs with this. Okay, Ponder's fine. All right, so I need to try to get to a spot where I can get this Pyroblast out of hand. All right, I don't hate Petal. Uh, unfortunately, we are not making a construct. We are 100% grabbing Soul Guide Lantern. Um, grab Soul Guide Lantern. Let's eat your Ponder. Uh, play Petal. All right, so is there a world... Let's Thought Cast. I was going to say, is there a world where I want to get this Drawth down, but I probably should have done it before the Lotus Petal. We'll see if this gets the Pyroblast out of hand. It does not. Okay. I haven't played a land yet, so let's Odawara. See if this gets your Pyroblast out of hand. Still no. Interesting. All right. So I think next turn we might try to get down this Kappa Cannon here. Unfortunately, now they can't... Okay, well, they need more mana, but they're in a position where they theoretically could Brothers Hit End with their Pyroblast backup, which would be brutal, but... But at that point, it also does get that out of their hand. And since I have Emery, I can start rebuilding. And then at this point, an EE on zero still doesn't actually really do anything. All right, there's a pedal. All right, they're seething songing now. I guess we'll see what they do here, see what's worth fighting over. Invoke Calamity. Cast two instant of sorceries, total mana value six or less from your graveyard and or hand without paying their mana cost. Okay. I guess we'll see what they have here. This is definitely a spicy-ass deck. I will say that. Oh, it's a storm deck? I guess we'll see what they hit off of this. Another Invoke Calamity. Ponder. Volcanic Island. Another my Okay, so they're going to be able to keep going, I guess. Um, Okay, I mean, we're going to go ahead and just go after the Invoke Calamity just for the sake of getting it out of their hand. I guess we'll see what they can do here. Like, this is definitely a very interesting deck. I was not expecting Storm at all. Oh, they're just Mind Desiring now? Okay. All right, what do they hit? Island. Do they fizzle? Force of Will. Okay, so my counter's useless. Petal. Sandstone Needle. Okay, three more to find a payoff. Uh, Intuition. Brothers Hit End. Okay, so the Brothers Hit End is bad and they hit a demigod all right so what are they doing here all right they're gonna brotherhood end now all right do that now so that they can't see the song oh invoke calamity is an instant oh we're just dead i didn't realize invoke was an instant i mean props on our opponent this is a cool ass fucking deck yeah, that, I mean, this is a cool-ass deck. We'll, we'll let them finish off their shit. Like, we're, we're dead here. It doesn't really matter. Well, hold on. Turn off auto yields. We Oh, and the One Ring? They've hit one of their demigods. We're just going to go ahead and do this now just to get it out of the way, and then we're going to... All right, just for the sake of being like, okay, we did literally every game action that we can. I'll do that. But they, they have the Pyroblast. Like, yeah, this is a fucking cool-ass deck. I just want to see them finish it off, see if they hit all four of the demigods. This is definitely some cool shit. I'm curious if this is all just demigods, and that is literally the only win con, or if they actually do have like a storm win con in addition to the mind's desires, or if that's just to find the demigods. Because they've got two free demigods right now, and they got a whole bunch of dig to try to find a way to put the rest of them in the yard. I think they have an intuition in there too, actually. But then again, they only got two demigods left in the deck, and I can put one of them in their hand, so... I don't know. They, this is just interesting. All right, so our opponent got all the way down to one card left in their deck. Apparently, they do have a... Okay, it's a Grape Shot. I was going to say, I saw the Burning Wish off that last uh, Mind's Desire, so they actually do have a Storm win, so that that's a cool deck, man. Like, whoever you are. It's like, sweet deck, good game, all right. All right. Well, I guess on to the next one. I mean, if we're going to get killed, let's get killed by Jank. That, that's sweet. Very sweet deck opponent. If you see this, that is a cool deck. Props on that.
All right, round four. This is a great hand. We're going to keep this, especially since we're on the play. We can actually... Oh, I thought we were on the play for some reason. Oh, apparently I read that wrong. Our opponent apparently just snap-capped. All right, so... Okay, they could be on some kind of um, natural order deck based off of what I'm seeing here. But we should be pretty safe to just, like, shit our whole hand out, go into a Thought Cast, and hopefully we hit, like, a Force of Will or something. I am a little concerned about a Game 1 Collector Roof, I'm not gonna lie. Making our patches as big as possible. And now here comes the really fun part where, like, even though I have to get rid of one of my artifacts to cast this, if I click on it first and announce that I'm casting it, the mana cost is still only one. <laughs> like, it's a weird little trick to know when you're playing these Affinity-style decks. Um, another patches. Ooh, Green Sun Zenith. Ugh. All right, yeah, we're running this out and just making our patchwork as big as possible because there's a possibility that we're seeing a collector roof come down next turn. Uh, we will let them draw, or actually no, because we might be able to hit a force of will. Nope, it's a bobble. Okay, so we're just gonna basically try to win off of the patches that could, unless we hit like. Okay, Urza Saga, that gives us a way out, I guess. Because it'll give us some big creatures. Even if they green sun for an oof, we can still play our creatures, make them big, and attack. And then we can keep making constructs and just beat down as fast as possible before they can really do anything. Ooh, Wasteland, interesting. Well, that Wasteland is annoying. Green sun for two. This is 100% going to be a collector oof. Yep, there's oof. All right, let's see. So before we get completely destroyed by this wasteland here, uh, at least we still have a patches we can get down and a thought cast. So, hmm, we actually still have ways to draw into stuff. So we might be able to bait them into taking out this Odawara because it's our only usable blue source when they see this. And then into another thought cast and a force of will? Okay. We're going to see if we can just get there as fast as possible off of this stuff. If they take out the Odawara, then we have the Urza Saga. And they can't get in with the Collector Oof. If they don't, we get to Thought Cast again. We're also in a position where if we have to, we can Force of Will pitching Thought Cast. And then just keep beating down with these. Like, I almost want them to Wasteland, go after Odawara, just so that we don't have to think about if we want to Force of Will something or not. That should also clear the way for Urza Saga. So, all right, well, this makes it, I'm going to make them tap out, and then I'm going to Force of Will it. Okay. Um, now we Force of Will it. If they randomly have main deck Veil of Summer, that sucks, but that also put them down for more life. All right, so they are building up mana, which is annoying. If they want to get in with Collector Roof, that's fine. Do I have the mana for Kappa? Two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Boom, 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 and two. And this allows me to attack with everything. Got a surprise guest from uh, Cosmo. Say hi, Cosmo. Say hi, buddy. All right, and the opponent skipped it up. They saw the cat, and they're like, oh, yeah, no, this dude's chill. We're, we we got to give him this win. <laughs> oh, and Nahiri's getting jealous, too, but I can't pick her up at the moment. All right, I guess what our opponent is doing, I'm like not even sure. I mean, we bring in the dismembers for sure. But other than that, maybe bring in some additional forces to be able to take out something like uh, Green Sun Zenith or a Natural Order. If we're taking that stuff out, I think on the draw, the chalices are not going to be very good. So let's take out the chalices. I don't think Spell Bomb will be particularly relevant with Oof running around. And then let's just trim... Let's trim a Mox Opal since it's legendary. Try a 5-in, five 5-out five like that. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so I've got a lot of protection for stuff. I think we're going to keep this. It's a little wonky, but we have a turn 1 Emery and double Force of Negation to be able to try to stop a Collector Oof Green Sun. If they just naturally have the oof, that sucks ass, but um, seeing as we have that, let's go ahead and just do this. Just get Emery down now, like this. Like I said, if they just have the natural oof, it's rough, but we'll see if we can hit a force wall at the top. 
Ooh, Winding Constrictor. We are in the spicy league today. I like it. Okay, okay. I, I, I am impressed. Like, we are in the spicy league. Okay, we have a dismember, so we have a collector we've covered now. Like, we have collector we've covered a bajillion ways to Sunday. All right, opponent is not doing anything yet. They could get Winding Constrictor down. I think what we want to do, because we have so much... Okay, they do play the Winding Constrictor. That's fine. Um, depending on what we draw, we might just play the Mox Opal. Well, no, because we can't make anything off of the Urza Saga yet anyway, so... Another Emery is interesting. Let's play Construct. You know what? We're going to do this. It does mean we are shields down, but we have a basic land to be able to actually make mana, so... I was going to say, this means that we're shields down to a um, Collector Oof, but at the same time, not really, because we always could get the Lotus Petal back. We could grab a Bobble. We have an actual basic land anyways. Um, I think to be safe, we're just going to get the Bobble back, or the Petal back. And this triggers Giroff to be able to make a dude. And this does give us the ability to dismember the Winding Constrictor if we need to do that for some reason. So we've got a couple of layers of protection here. Unfortunately, I did mill a dismember. I just noticed that. Oh, okay. They're going to get rid of my land. Okay. Um, I mean, we go grab... Oh, I guess I only have one basic. I guess I should check that. Okay. I mean, that's a thing. It is what it is. Um, okay, that's fine. I'm not super worried about that at all yet. I like Force of Will. Um, let's go ahead and... Target Bobble. All right, let's cast the Bobble. Uh, we will go ahead and see what they have in their hand. They have a Bowmasters. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Um. So with that said, I don't think there's any reason to not get in. We'll just attack with everything right now. Because since we know about the Bowmaster, they might try to flash that in, in which case we'll probably force it. All right, they're just going to... Let that go. I wasn't thinking they'd block there, but that's fine. I just want to get my damage in. Are they going to flash in? Yes, they're going to flash the Bowmasters in in response to the Bobble. And we will force this in a heartbeat. So Bowmasters is gone. We draw an Opal, which will let us activate uh, Giralf. All right. So I don't know what the opponent's got going on over there. All right, they're going to get in for some damage. That's fine. We are winning this race. I also am in the world where I can kill that if I need to. Also, okay, another Force of Will. I like that. Target versus Bobble again. Make a Bobble. Like, I want to make another uh, creature here by dismembering this Winding Constrictor, but I know we're in a position where we really shouldn't do that. Let's see what else is in your hand. Ooh, Meltdown. Okay. Um, that's actually pretty fine, honestly. <laughs> like, we can get our shit back if we want to, or we can just go ahead and force negation it. I don't care about Meltdown whatsoever. Like, the one time I'm playing an artifact deck, and I just don't care about Meltdown. Ooh, and a Thought Cast. Okay. Green Sun for two. Do I want to let this go, or do I actually want to force this? Because I lose all of this shit if I go ahead... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, they can melt down to get rid of a Mox Opal. I really don't care about that. Yeah, we, we got to pitch cast this, unfortunately. All right, that's fine. And then if they want to get rid of what we have with a Meltdown... Oh, it's a Stalactite Stalker? Okay, that's fine. Again, I'm not super duper concerned about that. All right, opponent's hanging back. That That's also fine. Thought cast into thought cast. This is going to be a fun turn. Oh, it costs two. Hold on. Whoop. Uh, let's get back a bobble. All right, now Mox Opal is turned on as well. This gets to be a fun turn now. How is this still two? Okay, whatever. Make a Deuterino. Seat of the Synod. Okay. Let's do another one. Make another dude. Into some patchworks. I don't hate that. Um, I mean, let's see if it shows us the Meltdown again or if it shows us something different. There's a Meltdown and a Fatal Push. Okay. 
we are going to go ahead and wait a turn. Well, actually, do I even care? Like, they can kill our Giralf if they want to. Um, Yeah, let, let's just attack with all. We have a backup Giralf. I don't think that's what this game is about anymore. No, they're just going to block there. That's fine, too. The Meltdown does a little bit more now. Oh, where's the Saga? I like that. But again, we can still just keep getting our stuff back with Emery unless they Meltdown and Fatal Push at the same time. The other thing we could do is just, like, Force of Will the Meltdown, which I think we're getting to the point where we want to. Yeah, go ahead and get in for two. Actually, do I just want to kill this? Yeah, I think I actually do just want to kill this. It'll turn on Fatal Push, but that's fine. Like I said, we have a backup Giralf. Oh, whoops. Oopsies. Um, never mind. We'll just take it. I forgot this has Menace. <laughs> I'll take the two, that's fine. Going to kill Emery like that. Okay, that's fine. She served her purpose. And now if they melt down, we go ahead and just force will the meltdown. And if they want a fatal push, they can take Giralf and that's fine. Like that's not what this game is about anymore. Okay, the meltdown I 100% will counter. All right, we will counter the meltdown because we want to keep our stuff. All right, let's pop off motherfuckers. All right. All right, let's see if they can get back. They've got a Fatal Push and an Unknown. If they have multiple Meltdowns, that sucks. We still have uh, a heads up here for against uh, Collector Oof. So we're not dead to that. And we'll start getting in. Let's go. And then hopefully... Okay, that's fine. Hopefully we get in a position where we can just take over the game with Constructs. Oh, I said, I think even if they find a way to take care of Giralf here, he has served his purpose. And we're just going to try to ride these patchies. And they're scooping up anyway. So, yeah, we were able to uh, navigate that one. Like, sweet deck opponent. Some kind of, like, Jund Counters Winding Constrictor thing? Like, that's super cool. I'm not going to lie. So, I, we're in the spicy queue today, so I'll take it. I like it. I like it. On to the next one. All right, final round. Playing for the four, or the positive record here. Um... Lost the die roll. I did pay attention this time. I like this hand. We will go ahead and keep this. This is a turn one Emery, a thought cast, and a whole bunch of redundancy. So this hand could be anything. We are looking at our draw for turn plus three redraws. Opponent mulligan to six. Hopefully not on some sort of super fast combo deck. All right. I mean, I guess it's appropriate to finish out the league on Delver. <laughs> Um, days on Emery would suck, but not the end of the world. They also could just bolt it. Um, I mean, I suppose if they daze it, we have a redundant one anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Again, same deal if they bolt it. Uh, I could just thought cast there, but I think it's better to get Emery down. I care more about the thought cast resolving than the Emery. All right, Aether Spellbomb's not bad. That can bounce a Dragon Rage Channeler, or it can bounce... All right, let's... Let's see what they got. I should have done this before so that I could possibly draw a counter. Lorien revealed. Okay. And what are they drawing? Force of Will. Okay. That Force of Will is annoying. Especially with shit like that. And a Murktide region. Okay. Opponent got game. Got it. Alright, let's see how much I draw into out of this. Ancient Tomb. Thought Monitor. Okay, I got a Force of Will of my own. I like that. And a Kappa Cannoneer. Um, let's get a... I need to get in a position where I can start actually, like, casting things. I feel like if I get this Kappa Cannoneer down, that's really good game against what our opponent's trying to do here. For... Wow, main deck Force of Negation. Pitching Lorien revealed. Wow, that... Main deck Force Negation is kind of insane. They've been to Murktide. Do I care? No. Um, I'd much rather try to get this Kappa Cannoneer through next turn. Misty Rainforest. Okay, so they're getting to a point where this Murktide region might resolve. Okay, they're Teamer. Good to know that. Just gonna Seek the Beast? Wait, what? Unauthorized Exit? Well, on the plus side, I know for a fact that... uh. They can't force a will this. So there's something here that's gone that I'm just missing somehow. Well, this is a big turn. If I can hit a zero drop artifact, I can get Kappa down. 
Like, any zero-drop artifact, and I can play Kappa. Or I just get an Urza Saga. I guess that works, too. <laughs> uh, let's grab a Bobble and see what the hell our opponent has in their hand. Like, which of these cards did they keep? They... Fire Ice? Okay. So their whole hand is different than what I thought it was, apparently. I don't remember them doing anything to shift their hand around, though. Okay, Force of Will can get the Fire Ice out of their hand so that Emery lives. And I think I'm probably going to Snap do that. And then we're just going to try to ride these. Doing two damage. We will let them Surveil first, see what they do. Put a Ponder to the Yard. We will pitch our Redundant Emery in a heartbeat. Uh, we also could, say, forget a Construct for a minute and get Kappa down instead. That might be a better option, actually. I think that's probably going to race better. Unfortunately, it is doing a lot of damage to us. Uh, okay, Patchworks. I think Patchy can come down next turn. Let's grab a... I think I want a Spell Bomb. Uh, I actually did this wrong, but we're going to get Patches down. Play a land... Uh, play the spell bomb to grow the patches. I think I might be fully off of the Urza Saga plan here. I don't know. We'll see. These are much stickier threats. I can also get in a position where I can bounce this Dragon Ray Channeler out of play to save some life. Or if this is a Murktide region, I just bounce the Murktide. Yeah, this looks like a Murktide. No, it, what? Eris? Okay, that's interesting. All right, I'm very confused by what our opponent's doing here. This doesn't have flying, right? Flying prowess. Okay, so we might have to just bounce that back. Uh, I think we're getting Shadow Spear to start padding our life total against... Whatchamacallit. What does this do? Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, create a 4-4 dragon. All right, we... Okay, I like Metallic Rebuke. That is very good. However, we need as much... All right, I make a dude... I can hold up Metallic Rebuke. I can't Metallic Rebuke and Aether Spellbomb. Yeah, this hurts a lot, but it's what we need to do. Because we're going to get some mana back here. Or some life back, I should say. Um, grab the Shadow Spear. Equip the Shadow Spear. I actually did that wrong. I'm an idiot. Fuck. Okay, well, we're going to see how badly this goes. I guess we're going to see what our opponent has. And we got to hope that we draw, like, a force effect. What are they drawing off the top of their... All right, Dragon Rage Channeler. It's just whenever we cast your second... Okay, it's a second spell. So there's a possibility that they're just going to be mana screwed and not able to actually do anything. We'll see if they're willing to trade this Eris. My money is on no. I think I might have screwed that one up. I'm not going to lie. I needed the blue mana. I don't know why I was thinking I didn't. All right, there's a Lotus Petal for next turn. Like, the hope is they're just mana screwed and they can't do anything. Because if they ponder... Okay, cool. They didn't have another spell they could cast. And now I need to watch out for both of these. All right, is there any way that I can get my creatures big enough? Need a non-painful blue source. All right. So we do this. We have a Lotus Petal. Uh, Bobble. Cast Bobble. Alright, get in with my creatures. And I can bounce Eris back in their upkeep. They're down to three. What are they drawing? They're drawing a land. Okay, that's good. So, let's pass the turn. In their upkeep, uh, pop Eris back to your hand. So basically, they need a Bolt, and we know two of their cards are not Bolt. There's one unknown in all of this, because we know they drew the land for turn. There's an Eris, and there's one unknown. And it's not a Bolt, and we got there. All right. Woo! That feels good. <laughs> um, so against what our opponent's doing, Hydroblast seems good. Dismember seems good. Soul Guide Lantern seems good. There's something to be said about... Fairy Macabre's Pithing Needle is kind of eh. Um, Chalice is good, but not as good on the draw. Um, 
let's take out the Lava Spur Boots, one Emery, a Giralf. Normally against these style decks, we want to take out all of our Force of Wills and bring in the other counter magic, which might not be a bad idea, because maybe we take those out and we bring in the Fluster Storms. We don't have hate for turn one, but I don't think we're going to need it. Something like this. Maybe do two flusters? Yeah, let's try something like that. All right, I like this hand. We can go ahead and keep this. It's a fast saga, assuming they don't have uh, Wasteland, which they're probably going to, but we'll see. All right, just starts out on a trot. It's just a question of, do we want to Saga right off of the bat and open it up to a Wasteland? I guess it gets it out of the way if we do. Or, hear me out, put him to the Force check. Chalice on one, see if this can shut anything down. Opponent's brainstorming. I don't know if this is trying to be efficient and they're just going to daze it, or if they're looking for a Force of Will now. If this resolves, this is huge. Oh my god, that resolved. Holy shit, I was not expecting that to resolve. Alright, all of their cantrips are off. Dragon Race Channeler is off. Unless they've got a Meltdown. Um, in which case, cool, get the Meltdown out of the way now. Up the Beans? What the fuck? Okay, this is a very interesting deck. That is for sure. But our hope is they just don't have a Wasteland, really. And we're going to just try to ride these constructs to victory. Because their cantrips to find them are now gone. So we'll see if they just have a wasteland. What are they doing here? Was that a meltdown? What is the opponent doing here? They keep going to pay costs for something. Alright, Pyroblast just for the sake of getting it in the graveyard? Are they setting up for like an Eris or something? Like there wasn't any targets for the Pyroblast either. Like, I guess I, you can target something that's not red with it, but... Alright, I'm guessing they're, they're just trying to get mana cost. Well, no, because it's just a redundant mana cost at that point. Even with... Even for Eris. So, like... Well, let's just trying to fuel up a Murktide regent. Alright, well, apparently our opponent is mana screwed. Which means this saga is going to get to run its course. I'm going to get a full two constructs out of it. Now, what do we want to get off of the Urza saga is the question. We could get Soul Guide Lantern to clear the graveyard out, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Pyrokinesis to kill that. Um, since they seem to care so much about this, counter target spell if it's red, counter Pyrokinesis? What did they pitch to it? They pitched a drag. Oh shit, right? Oops, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot my own chalice. Okay, that's fine. But I'm gonna get another construct, which is fine. All of this is fine. Uh, this goes and gets Soul Guide Lantern. And Soul Guide is going to eat the Pyrokinesis. Unfortunately, the uh, Thought Cast isn't castable yet. It casts two, right? Yeah, okay. So we will pass the turn. I was an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. I would have been able to cast Thought Cast, but oh well. Unfortunately, now they know about Hydro Blast for next game, too. What is this? Brazen Borrower on the Construct Token? Ice. To tap the Soul Guide Lantern. Okay. I don't know what they plan on doing with their mana next turn, but okay. Alright, they finally hit a third land, so I mean, I guess they... What is this? Meltdown for... Okay. Well, we're in for a slog now. I can try to just raw dog this Kappa and see if it works. They haven't had any counter magic yet. I am going to play this to be able to play around a daze. Granted, I don't know if they would have daze based off of everything that I'm seeing here. We are going to try to just raw dog this cap into play here. Alright, cap worked. And it's a good clock, too. Unfortunately, they are getting to the point where they can cast, like, Eris or any of that shit, but I do have Spellbomb is active again. Alright, opponent's pondering. Opponent chose not to shuffle. Okay. Oh. Okay, what are they even... Okay, I guess they're just doing it to get mana cost in the graveyard and draw a card. Well, that's the only thing I can think of here. So there's a good chance that they have counter magic in their deck now. But they didn't play anything. I'm very confused. 
Okay, now, I have no idea what her opponent's doing. The timing of their stuff is very strange. Mystic Sanctuary to get back Meltdown? Okay. I don't think that matters, but okay. I mean, that's fine. Um, well, let's start off with a Spell Bomb. See what they want to do with this. Okay. Um, go into a Thought Cast? See what they want to do about that. Dismember and Bobble. Okay. Make Cap a little bit bigger. Is there a word? Oh, no, there- Wait, how the hell did they gain life? Or have they always been- a I am so confused. Um, okay, I mean, I guess we're just gonna attack. I don't want to feed into this, uh, whatchamacallit, any more than I have to here. And then, like, I know what's on top of their deck, but I want to draw into a potential counterspell. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, this Synod's not bad. Um, they can't get to enough mana to be able to melt down a Kappa Cannon here. Alright, they're just playing Eris. That's fine. Alright, um... I don't think that matters. Like, I really don't. We can try to do everything on our turn here. Um... Because I could pretty easily get this above four, I think. And I've got two ways to deal with Eris. Uh, tap this for mana. Uh, as long as my thought cast doesn't get countered, I think I just get there. See if they're going to counter my thought cast. And if they do, it gets a counter out of their hand. No. Um, this just gets there, right? Uh, chalice on one? Yeah, they're, as long as this shit resolves, they're just dead. Because this gets it up to 11, and they can't block Kappa. Yeah, this is 11, this is lethal. I don't know what zero mana way they have to get out of this. And we got there, alright! Yeah, that was, uh... That's definitely a cool take on, like, Delver Beanstalk stuff. Um, and we locked in the positive record, I mean... That, that's... That's a cool take on Delver. I will give Delver credit for doing that. And it's more of a Beanstalk heiress thing, but it's in the Delver family. But super cool deck, and we got the positive record off of it, off of Blastoise. All right, I guess uh, I'm just playing Pokemon today. So at the end of this league, this deck felt really good. It feels exactly the way that it should. It plays exactly the way that it should. Um, the one downside I will say is that and this is the downside for any Stompy deck, is with all of the fast mana and the zero drop artifacts, there is a lot of fluff and air in these decks. Uh, being as there's eight bobbles and ways to recur them with Emery, I would feel like this deck wouldn't run into the flooding out problem as much as some of the other Stompy decks do. But there were a few times where our bobbles were just drawing more bobbles or more lands, and our thought cast hit double lands or something like that. So even with all of the card draw, we still ended up flooding out a few times and feeling that airiness that these Stompy decks kind of just inherently have. That being said, Geralt felt great. He fits right into this deck with exactly what it's trying to do and making those zero drops and that fluff work out in your advantage by creating a ton of zombie rogues, being able to go wide around your opponent, put them in difficult positions. Uh, even that one game where all the rogues ended up getting wiped up by an engineer explosives, it still made them pop it at an inopportune time where we were able to get back a bunch of our zero drops and everything and it forced them to put it on zero versus putting it on an actual relevant number that would be able to stop us from being able to rebuild so huge huge addition with Giralf and then I know it's not a new card but I just want to shout out Kappa Cannon here it always outperforms I know it's a good card but it always amazes me just how crazy it can be the fact that it can become unblockable it can one shot your opponent super easily just it is it always outperforms my expectations and it's going to be an to see if it does anything now that it's in modern um that being said the deck was a blast i would definitely play it again i'm interested to see how modern horizons 3 affects this deck i'm kind of interested in trying out glaring flesh raker in this deck being able to just make a bunch of zombie to or a bunch of eldrazi scion tokens to power out some other stuff basically making them like pseudo improvised because you can just sack them for mana for a kappa cannon here um, and then being able to ping the opponent a ton with all of your colorless stuff entering the battlefield. So it'll be interesting to see how Modern Horizons 3 affects this deck. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you all had fun. I will catch you all in the next one. And as always, stay salty. 
Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like and sub button below. There are free ways to support the channel. And drop a comment, let me know what you like. Any kind of feedback you got, your opinions on my gameplay, the decks that I play, any of that kind of stuff. If you really like what you see, go ahead and drop by the Patreon. Become a patron, get to read some of my tournament reports and some stuff going on outside of just magic in my life that I'm going to start putting over there as kind of my own personal blog. Also, you can do donation deck lists over there, just the price of a league if you have a specific deck you want to see, or you have an idea you want me to brew around, something like that, go ahead and do that. Nothing is required. It's always appreciated, though. Any donations go directly back into the channel, covering stuff such as leagues for donation decks or the rental program that I'm a part of. I am a small-time YouTuber. I'm doing this for fun. I really hope you all like what you saw. I truly appreciate you all stopping by. I will catch you all in the next video, and as always, stay salty.